Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about polynomials and polynomial functions. The word polynomial comes from two diverse roots, the Greek word poly meaning many, and the Latin word nomen meaning names, in which refers to terms. In mathematics, polynomial is an expression consisting of variables and coefficients that involves the operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and the non-negative integer exponents of variables. Take note that there should be no negative and fractional exponent in the variable. Here are examples of polynomials. Negative x raised to 4, 2x plus 5, 3x squared plus x minus 2, and 14 minus x plus 2x squared minus 3x cubed. Now, these polynomials can be classified according to the number of terms that they have. In the example, negative x raised to 4 is what we call a monomial. Monomial is a polynomial with exactly one term. The second example, 2x plus 5, is a binomial. By definition, binomial is a polynomial with two terms. Take note that the symbols addition or subtraction separates the terms. Here, 2x is the first term and 5 is the second term. Meanwhile, the expression 3x squared plus x minus 2 is a trinomial. It has exactly three terms. And lastly, the polynomial 14 minus x plus 2x squared minus 3x cubed is what we call a multinomial. Generally, polynomials with four or more terms are categorized as multinomials. After we classify polynomials according to terms, let us now identify the degree of polynomials and its leading coefficients. To define, the degree of a polynomial refers to the highest exponent among the terms of the polynomial. In the previous examples, the degree of negative x raised to 4 is 4. The degree of 2x plus 5 is 1. That is the highest exponent of the variable x. By the way, for any constant, the degree is 0. In the third example, 3x squared plus x minus 2, the degree is 2. And for the last example, 14 minus x plus 2x squared minus 3x cubed, the degree is 3, since that is the highest exponent. Now, if we would name these polynomials according to degree, the first example is quartic. The second is linear. The third example is quadratic, since the highest exponent is 2. And the last example is cubic. Now, for the leading coefficient, it is said to be the numerical coefficient of the term with the highest exponent. In item number 1, the leading coefficient is negative 1. In the second example, that is 2. In the quadratic 3x squared plus x minus 3, the leading coefficient is 3. And in the last example, that is negative 3. Negative 3 because that is the numerical coefficient of the cubic term, which is the leading term. Regarding polynomial function, remember that a function is defined as a relation in which elements in the domain, which are the values of the variable x, is paired with one and only one element in the range or the values of the variable y. Now, using the general form of polynomials, a polynomial function can be written in the form p of x or y equals a sub m x raised to m plus a sub m minus 1 times x raised to m minus 1 plus and so on and so forth plus a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 where m is the degree of the polynomial that is the highest exponent a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2, and so on and so forth up to a sub m are real numbers and a sub m is not equal to 0. a sub m here is the leading numerical coefficient while a sub m x raised to m is called the leading term. 
the term A sub 0 is called the constant term. The following are examples of polynomial functions. P of x equals negative x raised to 4. P of x equals 2x plus 5. P of x equals 3x squared plus x minus 2. And P of x equals negative 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 14. Now to show the correspondence between the values of x and y in a polynomial function, we will plug in values to x to solve for y or p of x. Let's say in the polynomial function p of x equals 3x squared plus x minus 2. If you will be asked to determine p of negative 2, that means you have to solve for the function when x value is negative 2. It will become p of negative 2 equals 3 times the square of negative 2 plus negative 2 minus 2. Evaluating the right side of the function, the square of negative 2 is positive 4. Multiplying that by 3, the product is 12. Now 12 plus negative 2 minus 2, the answer is positive 8. Thus, the value of the function or y when x is negative 2 is positive 8. Another example of evaluating a polynomial function using the value of the variable, say determine the value of p of 6 in the function p of x equals 7 x cubed plus x minus 21. Again, we will substitute 6 to the variable x. That will be p of 6 equals 7 times the cube of 6 plus 6 minus 21. Cube of 6 is 216, times 7 is 1,512, then plus 6 minus 21. Hence, P of 6 of the polynomial function is 1,497. Now for our last example, evaluate the polynomial function P of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 when x is equal to quantity x plus 1. Again, substitute the binomial x plus 1 to the variable x in the original polynomial function. That will be p of quantity x plus 1 equals the square of quantity x plus 1 minus 4 times quantity x plus 1 plus 3. The square of x plus 1 is x squared plus 2x plus 1. There you may use FOIL method, special product, horizontal or vertical multiplication of polynomials. Next, distribute negative 4 to the binomial x plus 1. That is negative 4x minus 4, then plus 3. Now, if we will combine like terms, 2x minus 4x, that is negative 2x. 1 minus 4 plus 3 is 0. Hence, p of quantity x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 2x. Thank you for watching. God bless.